Hey there. Today I'm going to talk about the greatest problems of these two vehicles and how to solve them. So number one, the steering sucks. Make no doubt, everything is an A level. Steering, C, maybe C minus. Couple options. There's a lot. There's a lot of options. Uh, servo is one of the great things to be researched. But this one is a 20 kg servo. Um, Put some weight on it. Very another another great option is this Savox 1210 uh, waterproof servo. About 340 ounce, ounces of uh, torque. Uh, and over here is uh, the new Traxxas Now has solution. Uh, 330 ounce uh, servo. Uh, so a lot more power get you in the jam, get you out of a jam better. When you go for higher powered servos, uh, you will, you're going to need a BEC, a ba battery eliminator circuit. That's external. This one is an internal uh, BEC, but they can only deliver 6 volts, 1 amp. Uh, these things need a lot more amps, up to 5 amps. And when you drive them at 7.4 volts, which they're designed for, uh, this one too can actually do 7.4, uh, you get like a 20%, 30% boost in not only torque, but also speed. Second problem with these uh, machines is as beautiful as they are, uh, it's the bo their bodies are huge, are big, and heavy. So when they're big, it's harder to get in and out of rocks, in and out of little uh, crevices and whatnot. Uh, you're usually at an angle somewhere. Um, so uh, how do you solve it? You can chop the body up. I notice I I took the um, I took the roof rack out. I made the I made a rear uh, spare tire smaller uh, with an HPI tire, so it still looks realistic, but it's smaller and lighter. Uh, you could take the you could take these out uh, if you want, um, chop it up, do what you want, and and the last thing is you can replace them. Uh, now the problem is perhaps you think it's too slow. Hey, you bought a crawler, bro. <laughs> but the good news is the. Uh, these machines are perfectly capable of faster speeds. So what you want to do is um, um, you could change your uh, the number one thing you do is you use 3-cell. So 3-cell just means it has 3 cells inside so instead of 7.4 volts, the classic 7.4, you're using 11.1 .1 volts. 11.1 um, .1 gives you a 30% boost in speed and power. So instead of your top speed being 8, eight miles an hour, it'll be 11 pretty darn good. You could change your, your pinion gear to give you more speed and you could do that because you have a two-speed transmission anyway. You have a low gear and a high gear, gives you more options. Um, and finally, you could use a brushless system. A brushless system are these new motors that you find in, in scooters and drones that are way more efficient and way more powerful. So there's the uh, Castle Mamba X, which is just an amazing powerhouse. It'll get these things up to 30 miles an hour and maybe more, and these machines can take it. They're, they have bulletproof drive trains. Uh, just, to, just don't go too, go too crazy. Uh, and there's the, uh, what's the Hobby Wing Axe system. Not quite as powerful, but uh, get you up there in speed, but has even more control uh, on the low speed. So that's how you get the speed. Another problem you might have is you might say, hey, it's too, too complicated. <laughs> Why'd you buy it then? Well, I know you bought it because it's the best, or what you thought was the best at the time. So, why is it complicated? It has five channels, steering, uh, motor, transmission, differentials. So if you think it's too complicated, and here's the key, and you're not using it, then you could eliminate some of the stuff. So, as you can see here, I never use my differentials on this, my pure crawling machine. Uh, part of the complexity of these machines is so you could trail run with them, you could, you could jump them, but, what, not, not. but if you never do that, you just want to crawl. All crawlers pretty much today have two channels. You could make this a two channel system. You could do that by eliminating your, your differential servos, so you can even eliminate your transmission servo. Um, it's not the end of the world. It'll improve your, your uh, what do you call that, dependability, reliability, and it'll, it'll improve your performance as well in, in, in pure crawling. In fact, uh, Traxxas made the, their very own stripped-down version called the TRX4 Sport. Cheaper, 340 bucks, and it's quite a performer.
it'll blow away anything in the market today. Uh, another big problem is center gravity. This great machine, but man, I keep flipping over, I flip over on the side, flip over backwards. I uh, wish my center of gravity was better. So the first thing you could do is change your body. Uh, 850 gram body, kind of high. Um, you could put a 200 gram body. That's going to improve your center of gravity a lot, improve performance quite a bit. Um, you could lower your right height uh, using your adjustable suspension. Uh, that'll improve your center of gravity. You can um, uh, use a smaller battery. Um, so this is a, a big battery, 5,000 milliamp. Uh, you can push a, a 2,000, and and you could and you could modify. You could buy another battery tray. So this one has a Bauhaus uh, battery tray. It lowers it as slow as possible, um, so that improves your center of gravity. Uh, these batteries are cool because uh, they're small, but it's good for about an hour of, of crawling. Uh, because the 11 volts has so much power, you're, you're really just modulating your power. Uh, so you get enough runtime with these. And the most important thing for uh, lowering your center of gravity is adding weight at the bottom. So you add unsprung weight is cool. Unsprung meaning it's below the shocks. Um, uh, anything brass uh, in the portals, in the axles, that's all good. Adds weight at the bottom. And heavy wheels is a real good cheap modification for these. Uh, you can either get steel wheels or you can get, you could, you could add uh, lead weight on, on your wheels, uh, 50 grams per wheel. Uh, finally, uh, bumpers. Bumpers are pain in the neck. Uh, they add realism but all they do is get in the way. Most of them. Most bumpers, actually. All bumpers in RC crawlers just get in the way. They get in the way of the tire. They get in the way of um, your approach. Um, so, what do you do? I had, a, I had a nice bumper here. You cut them. If they're not in the way of the tire, the tire can approach the rock and get over it. Uh, so this is the stock bumper, I just cut it. Uh, you dump them. Notice this thing has no bumpers running it this way. It runs awesome. Um, or you buy a new one. You buy something. You notice real world rock haulers have these minimalist two bumpers uh, that are very low profile, close to the body, uh, out of the way. Uh, those are the ones that are ideal. Uh, not as realistic as these chrome edgy ones, but they're a lot more functional. So we're team made. Uh, Night, Com Night Composites, Night Customs uh, has bumpers like these, um, and they really will add to your experience. It's like it's like uh, programming a clock radio or a VCR. You know, you're just reliant on beeps to know where you are in the process. Beeps and I think lights. When you research it, it has a lot of capability. Amazing. The one capability you want. Um, is right here. So throttle sensitivity, steering sensitivity, steering, so steering percentage, so I, I, I move that. It's moving pretty good. 